today. Now, this is amazing that when you know someone's spirit, I told him, I think I know you, man. <laughs> We're somewhere. And he did have an awesome opportunity to come visit Harvest Christian Ministries. What a beautiful place of worship. What God is doing in the life of this ministry, Reverend Tillman. God bless you. She said, You know who I am? I said, Go behind the basket. I know your spirit. When we come today, we do bring you our love from Harvest Christian Ministries there in the Perry Hall community. Pastor Barnes says that I am was a pastor, and that is true. Let me just give the backstory, and then we'll get to the Word of God. I remember the time when Sister Fleming would come, and when Paul come, they just come. I don't say that. Where you from? Are you a member? Sign up. She came and felt comfortable. And I remember the day she took up about three rows of all of her family. I said, I don't know what they did. She brought an army. <laughs> but what is evident is that she loved the Lord. So much has been said, I would not dare pretend that I knew her that way. But her family does. As I stand here today, I'm reminded of my own mother, who we eulogized about four years ago. And what a joy and a tough assignment at the same time. But thank God that we know this is not the end of the story. Amen. Amen. And I want to just take uh, some time. I remember during the pandemic, God does great things in the pandemic. Pastor Mark was telling me they got this place independent. We found the space independent. God has blessed you independent. Amen. On occasion, during an outdoor service, I'll tell you this story because it's unique. I was there doing outside service and some plenty of Roll up the cabin. I'm always confused with one of our deacons who also had a cabin. I said, well, he didn't roll it early. No, it wasn't here. It was Miss Lynn. And on one Sunday, she said, like this. And she called me over and said, listen, I need you to do something for me. This man, I thought, maybe, can I pray with you? I think, oh, no, all five things I can do. She said, no, I want you to do my service. Now, I pause because no one has ever asked that before. And I said, Ms. Clinton, I'm still here. You got it. And so God has allowed me to still be here. I just want to give words of encouragement to the family. During a time like this, let's bow. Help me follow what you come today. How excellent is your name in all the earth? As we stand today, we stand in your power. As we stand today, we ask that we might decrease and that you might increase. Touch this family today, God, as only you can. Give them strength, give them love in this moment, we pray. Now bless your word in Jesus' name, amen. Bless the be of God today as I stand before you. There's a word from the Lord that I wanted to share. And we stopped by on yesterday and kind of chatted with the family. Yes, I made a good report of it. I don't always get all the information, so I'm going to assign them. But the story's all connected about the kind of person Ms. Fleming was. And I thought about what might be the appropriate set of passages to reflect her life. Well, in 2 Timothy, 4th chapter, verses 7 and 8. 2 Timothy 4, 7 and 8. It reads, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but 
also to all who have longed for his appearing. I want to share this morning from a title, Run Well, Finish It. 